Hi guys, welcome to another episode of What Stock, where I tell you what stock I'm buying next and why. This week, I've been looking at the renewable energy sector to find the best company to invest my money in. At a glance, there are loads of really new and exciting companies doing loads of really new and exciting things. But there's only one company that's really caught my eye and that's the company I'm gonna buy. Before we begin, let's take a real quick look at the industry to see why I'm buying in today. Last year, renewable energy outpaced coal. The cost to manufacture wind farms, solar farms, and lithium iron batteries has gone down. New tax breaks for renewables companies means more money in their back pockets. The cost for new companies to enter the market has gone down, and more and more people and companies are adopting the technology, so it's a great time for me to buy in and get some well-deserved exposure. Just a quick note before we carry on though, if you're new to the channel, I post one stock pick video a week because I believe that if you know what to look for, there are always great deals to be found. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my picks. Now onto the big reveal. SolarEdge is a provider of power optimizers, solar inverters, and monitoring systems. In English, they make solar panels more efficient. And that's one of the reasons I love this business model. It's really easy to understand and they don't need to be the guys making the best solar panels on the market. They just need to integrate with them. They've grown their revenue by over 60% every year for the past five years. That's Tesla good. That's better than Tesla good. They've grown their earnings by over 500% every year for the past five years. That's better than Enphase, that's better than First Solar, that's better than all of their competition put together. They've grown their free cash flow by 64% every year for the past three years. I mean, the only guys who even get close to this are Jinko Solar, and they're only averaging 41%. I mean, that's not bad, but it's not solar edge good. I mean, on top of all of that, they've managed to grow their net equity by over 30% in the last year alone. Now these are mammoth growth rates, and they far surpass the 10% minimum rate that I'm looking for in all of these growth rates. In 2019, SolarEdge saw a return on invested capital of almost 25%. That's nuts. But it's even more nuts when you consider it was one of SolarEdge's worst years for ROI. In the previous year, they almost did 100%. Comparatively, when you look at SolarEdge's return on equity, which floats between 20 and 25%, you know, over the past five years, this is a company that has a management team that knows how to effectively deploy capital, but more importantly, knows how to recognize investment opportunities far outweighing their competition. Now that's a management team I want to invest in. All right, the gross margin isn't as big as say, big pharma or technology. However, it's pretty consistent at 30, 35% each year. And it's also very much in line with some of the best gross margin players in the green energy space. And when we compare them to say Enphase, who have a gross margin of around 35%, we can actually see that SolarEdge are the clear winner because they've consistently hit those gross margin targets, whereas Enphase has just come out of negative gross. Their operating margins are really good, particularly when you compare them to companies like Jinko and First Solar. But that real success story is that chunky net profit margin, which blows every single solar panel manufacturer, integrated OEM of solar panel manufacturers out of the water. And it far surpasses Jinko, Canadian Solar, Enphase, you name it, it destroys the competition. These guys are profitable, they're consistently profitable, and they're far more profitable than everyone close to them. A quick glance at SolarEdge's balance sheet tells me they don't have an unreasonable amount of debt. In fact, when you actually take the time to research the debt equity, the capital structure of a lot of solar panel companies, they're pretty under leveraged compared to say Canadian Solar and Jinko, where a debt to equity ratio of 10 and even 100 is pretty commonplace. But as any good creditor will tell you, it's not about the amount of debt you have, it's about your ability to service that debt which is important. So it doesn't matter that they have a debt to equity of 0.84, when they have an interest coverage ratio of over 38 times the interest versus their last year's EBITDA. If anything, I say lend these guys more money because they can clearly pay for it. Look, Solar Edge's projected growth isn't as crazy as say the Teslas of the world, the end phases of the world, Brookfield Partners, but I will say this, it's the most reliable based on everything we've seen about the company and we know about their competitors. Their balance sheet tells me they can outspend their competition. The fact that they've grown rapidly in the past 
tells me that their projected growth rates may be a little conservative. Furthermore, we need to look where that growth comes from. We know beyond a reasonable doubt that their growth is going to grow with the overall growth of the solar panel industry, which is forecast to see double digit growth over the next five to 10 years, maybe even quicker. And let's get down to brass tacks here. A projected growth of just shy of 35% next year and 20% for each subsequent year after that is not bad. And it far surpasses the 10% rate that I'm looking for. Let's look at the price. You don't go shopping for a Ferrari expecting to pay VW prices. And the same should be said for Solar Edge. It's clearly the superior company when you compare it to every other company in the green energy space. A quick glance at the trailing PE ratio versus the forward PE ratio tells me that analysts are expecting some exponential growth in the short term. That's kind of backed up by the growth expectations of the company. So if I was to buy in at today's prices of $171 or there and thereabouts, I could probably see a reasonable return in the next year or so. But I'm a long holder. I'm buying this thing to hold it for the next five years. So it doesn't really bother me too much. You can't go shopping for the best company in a fast growth market and expect to pay a peg of lower than one. It's just not gonna happen. Having said that, Solar Edge's peg of just over two is pretty reasonable and may even be somewhat undervalued versus companies like Next Era and Ormat that have a peg of greater than three. And we already know, or I already know, after doing my research for this video, that they aren't in as good a position as Solar Edge is. In short, the price is neither here nor there if you're expecting to hold for a five year period. However, I will say that the significance of this stock, the health of its balance sheets, the historic growth, and everything else we've looked at may not be factored into the price at a premium level, which could present a really good buying opportunity, and I'm certainly gonna buy at these prices. Let's do a real quick recap. Solar Edge has insane historic growth rates. They've got a super effective management team, big, chunky, juicy, reliable margins, that aren't affected in shifts in the landscape of the business. They know how to borrow money and pay it back on time. They're a creditor's ideal candidate and they'll probably be offered a lot of capital borrowing in the near future. I would also say that despite all of the evidence that points to a far superior company, you might not necessarily be paying a premium on that. So it could present a fantastic buying opportunity. To summarize, I'm buying Solar Edge right now and I'm so excited about what the future holds for this company. guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. If you've got any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below because I really love hearing from you. Watch out for my next video. Happy investing.